Hey Glam Squad, welcome back to another episode of Beginner's Guide to Makeup. In this episode, we will be discussing big prominent eyes. I have done a few makeup lessons for prominent eyes, but if you have big protruding eyes like Mila Kunis, this look will be perfect for you. If you're new to my channel, you might be a little bit unsure of what a prominent eye is, so let's run through it quickly. A prominent eye is when your eyes are big and appear to protrude from your eye socket and lower lash line. You don't have a defined crease, but plenty of lid space. A prominent eye can come in different sizes and different shapes. A protruding eye is exactly the same as a prominent eye. However, protruding eyes is often used to describe the bigger types of prominent eyes. So hopefully that makes things a little bit clearer for you. So we're gonna jump straight into this makeup lesson on how to create a gorgeous smoky eye for big protruding eyes. For this lesson, you're gonna need a couple of different things. You'll need some blending brushes, a pencil brush for the lower lash line, and then also a flat brush on hand for your inner corner and brow bone. You'll need some sort of a shade stick. I'd recommend going for like a dark brown and also a neutral toned matte eyeshadow palette. You can also finish off the look with mascara or lashes of your choice. I'm going to be using my own collection Glam by Saz and I'm going to be using the Lambo lashes today. These are from the Glam collection and they're one of the most dramatic. They're lovely and fluffy though, so they're perfect for a smoky eye like this. They also flare out on the outer corner, so they're really good for elongating the eye. I'm also going to be using a glue liner, which is also a great option for beginners. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm using the shade stick, mine is from Pixie, but you can use whatever you have on hand. And this is just gonna make everything so much easier. That is why I opted for a shade stick. So you just wanna start blending this all over the lid. So the lid area is from the root of your lashes right up to the crease of your eye or the top of your eyeball if you don't have a defined crease. Once you're happy with the amount of pigment on there, you wanna just take a blending brush and just slowly in circular motions, blending around the edges. And this is just gonna get rid of any harsh lines from the cream. Now you can take another blending brush and you just wanna start packing on a dark brown or a black eyeshadow of your choice. Just make sure the eyeshadow is matte and you wanna start using the flat side of the blending brush and just start patting and wiggling. The reason for this is because first of all, you've added your base already, your cream base. So you're literally just setting that in place. That has done all the hard work for you. But also if you over blend matte shadows, they can become very chalky and patchy, which is something you don't want for something like a smoky eye. Now using the tip of the blending brush and dipping into a little bit more of the matte brown shadow, you wanna start working this around the crease of the eye. So just using very small circular motions. Again, remember you don't want to over blend matte shadows because they can become very patchy. So just use a very light hand and just kind of swirl it into the crease of the eye. So you're just really softening out any harsh edges. Now you wanna go in with another blending brush. You could opt for a clean one or a smaller one and just pick a lighter matte shadow. I opted for a warm brown. And again, you're just going around the edges and swirling and packing on that color and that is just creating a gradient so the dark shadow is blending out to nothing and I'm just going in now a little bit more of that matte shadow again just packing it on to get a little bit more pigment because sometimes when you're blending you lose a little bit of that color now you want to go in with a pencil brush and some more of that dark brown shadow that you're using. Uh, when you're working with big prominent eyes, you want to make sure that you don't bring that shadow down too far because it's going to make the eyes look very heavy and unbalanced. So it is great to use darker shadows and the reason why we use darker shadows on prominent or protruding eyes is because it kind of pushes the eye back and gives the illusion of more deep set eyes so the eyes look more balanced on the face. So dark shadows are great, just keep in mind the type of prominent eye you have and just be a little bit careful with the lower lash line that you're not overdoing it. I just applied a little bit of black liner in the waterline. Black again is also great for making the eyes appear smaller. Always 
always, always avoid white liner if you have very, very big protruding eyes because it's going to drag the eye down and make them look very heavy and tired. So I just finished off the look by popping a little bit of highlighter in the inner corner and the brow bone and some mascara. And uh, now I'm going to apply my lashes. So again, I'm using the gel liner I mentioned in the beginning of the video. This is great for beginners and makes applying lashes so much easier. I will admit though, I'm not a huge fan of the clear one. I have the black one from Kiss and it's amazing. This one from Allure isn't amazing because I can't feel the glue. It's very, very light lightweight. I can't feel the glue on the lid, so I don't really know where I'm applying it. So just keep that in mind if you are purchasing it, but it is, it really does make applying lashes so much easier. So that is it. That is the finished look. I really hope you got some tips from this video and you understand your eye shape a little bit more. Again, you can work with so many different colors for prominent or protruding eyes. Like I have kind of smaller size prominent eyes and I work with all different types of looks as you can see on my channel. But if you want your eyes to appear a little bit smaller, a little bit more deep set, doing a smoky eye like this is going to work on your eye shape so well. So if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments section. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave. And I hope I get to see you in my next makeup lesson. Bye.